One of the most memorable experiences I've had at Northside was when a large group of guys from the Friday morning Bible study helped Alan Lee and his wife Janet get moved into their new home. I remember it well because we had a lot of fun joking around with each other as we were moving, and it felt good to do something that was helpful for people that we cared about. I also remember what a daunting task it would have been if Alan and Janet had not had help, especially given that Janet had recently suffered a stroke that had left her unable to walk. I remember thinking how discouraging and difficult it would have been for them to get moved by themselves. Everyone needs help at various points in life. I need help. You need help. The grumpy man down the street especially needs our help. As much as some people try to act like it, none of us are self-sufficient islands. We are created by God to be in relationships with each other. That means that I rely on you and you rely on me and we provide for each other's needs. Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. What is the law of Christ? Simple. It's love. It's not a coincidence that in the previous chapter Paul writes, For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, Love your neighbor as yourself. Words that come directly from Jesus. Love is carrying each other's burdens. I encourage you to consider people you know that are burdened at this point in time. Maybe it's the family that is overwhelmed with responsibility after the birth of their last child. Maybe it's the husband or wife that lost their spouse. Maybe it's the socially awkward teenager. Consider how you can carry their burdens. You don't need to have any special talent or credentials. Many times, carrying a burden simply means visiting and listening, or bringing a meal, or mowing the lawn, or literally carrying boxes of belongings. And if you don't know what someone needs, ask. All you need to carry the burdens of others is a heart that is willing to serve. Love is carrying each other's burdens. Think about a burden you're experiencing now. Imagine what that would be like if someone were to relieve you of that burden, if that burden were lifted with no strings attached. I imagine that you'd feel grateful and that your spirit would be rejuvenated. Now imagine what it would do for the entire congregation and our community if everyone did that for each other. Let's make it our hobby, our job, and our purpose to carry the burdens of others. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we ask that you give us a heart that is ready to carry the burdens of others. May we acknowledge times when we need help, and may we provide for the needs of our brothers and sisters. In Christ's name, amen.